They gonna love me for my ambition. Someone who's spoken about a lot about the Drake beef has been uh, this gentleman, Little Yachty. Little Yachty's faced a lot of backlash because Little Yachty did an interview on his own podcast and then he deleted it, right? But I have the interview. I have the clips. Isn't this Edwin's goat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little Yachty is known to be very close to, obviously, Drake, oh, right? But I thought they're not best friends, though. Who's Someone said that they're not exactly best friends? They called each other best friends in an interview. I know, but I saw someone talk about, you know... I think they basically were oh, best the, friends. The, the Drake, the Drake Drizzler. Mm. Oh, the, the Diddler. The not nah, Drizzy, the Drizzy account. She was like, "You guys could never be best friends. How if you're not defending him?" Yeah. I was like, "Why yeah. you tell this nigga who his best friend is?" So yeah, yeah. little Yachty has broken his silence about the Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef, and little Yachty mentioned on the he he did not he didn't want nothing to do with it, and he, uh, when it came to being involved, because remember Kendrick Lamar said on Euphoria, Yachty can't give you no swag neither. I don't give a fuck about who you hang with. And then Rick Ross made a post saying that Little Yachty's Drake's pen on his Instagram uh, page when he was like coming at Drake. So Little Yachty was thrown into the fire. He said that I did not want nothing to do with it, but it was an honor to experience this battle. He said he has a lot of time of respect for both guys, Kendrick and Drake, but he knew that his name was going to be dropped in Euphoria. He knew Dr uh, Kendrick was going to say that. He knew before the song came out, but he didn't know what it was going to be about, but he knew that his, song was gonna, his name was going to be mentioned. They told him. Someone told him. Who did? We don't know. All right. Then he goes on and says that Drake was deemed a loser in this battle before it started because people don't like him and haven't ever. He still thinks that Drake sits on top of the throne in music and rap. And he told Drake himself directly. He told Drake, I don't feel like you won or lost. He told Drake this. Like, Drake, don't you, you didn't win or lose. Right. Then he goes on and says that he thinks that um, Taylor made was underrated. People didn't uh, think he thinks it was under underrated. He thought that Kendrick Lamar was not going to respond at first. Like a lot of people did, but he really hoped that he did because he wanted to see the battle. And he said he wasn't a big fan of the like that verse. He didn't like that verse too much, but he thought that euphoria was dope when it dropped. Then he goes and says also that on meet the Grams, it was a pivotal moment because obviously it stopped. It stepped on family matters. It was a well put together song, but he said it had holes in it because it had false information. Right. And he thinks that they are really great guys. He thinks that they they really didn't have much to say between each other, Drake and Kendrick, so that they just had to find an angle and poke a hole at that, according to him, right? He thinks that the beef is basically not real. Like, it's not like murder beef. This is someone that's inside, so he would know more than us if there's real tension. He says that there's not, it's not real, real beef. Then he says that the pedophilia and the woman abuser allegations, there's no proof to either, either of them. And that he wished that it was just Drake and Kendrick only beefy, nobody else directly. He said that when it came to Kendrick saying, I hate this guy, he felt like everyone jumped in and said, I hate him too. And it was kind of pussy. And he said that it was a good battle, that we'll never get nothing like this again. But he felt like the battle ended, not when the Heart Part 6 dropped, but when Not Like Us dropped. That's a fact. Because he just felt the fact. impact from that song. That's he, a fact. Right. But he didn't like artists tagging in, et cetera, et cetera. Um. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. And we'll play a clip from it though, and we can put the TV that way people can see it. Bro, listen. exclusive footage right here. How, how Yachty, you, don't take this shit down. How How are you gonna say right? How are you gonna say? I feel like people hate Drake. Does this and that? Blah blah blah. They always have. If that was the case, he wouldn't be where the fuck he's at right now. Yeah. So that was my argument. Like. The idea that the hate for Drake was so strong that all Kendrick had to do was make a good diss song and he'd win is ridiculous. That's stupid. Drake's fan base is way too large for that type of... Like, at the end of the day, there were going to be Drake haters, Kendrick stands, and Drake stands. The goal was to never win any of them. It yeah. was to win everyone in the middle. Yeah. The real hip-hop fans. Because it's people like you who are playing the song. Yeah. Real hip-hop fans. People like us, real hip-hop fans. People on the internet, some of them are real hip hop fans. It's not for the Glazers, bro. Drake fans are still defending him right now. Mm -hmm. They still are, bro, unfortunately. Bro, listen, listen. Both sides are kind of going I crazy. Can, I yeah. can tell you this, right? I can tell you this. Not kind of. They still are. People were calling me a Drake hater and shit. I put money. I put money, bro. You can go through my phone and you're gonna find more Drake songs in my phone than Kendrick. Me too. You I know what I'm saying? To Drake more than Kendrick. I love. I love both artists. I just wanted yeah. Drake to get humbled. But at the same time, Drake has more songs than Kendrick. 100%. That's also valid. It's like... 
But but who's, to, said, who's to say but, that if Kendrick Lamar wasn't more consistent, he'd be bigger than Drake? Does it, because so when to, he does to, drop, he does the, do crazy numbers. Today's, today's generation doesn't doesn't like Kendrick's type, type of, of music, music, bro. I I still think Kendrick can make that type of music. He not like it. us. Yeah. No, no, he can. Loyalty, sure. loyalty, loyalty. It's a banger. It's gonna suck. But New this freezer. Goes, this goes back to most Def's point. Family ties. We can keep naming them. Drake is low key elevator music. Some of the music is elevator music. It's background music. Like his music you hear in the background when you're chilling. I do think that right now, though, whatever Drake drops yeah, next... Yeah, you don't have to dissect it. Whatever Drake drops next, I'm telling you from this point forward, it has to be the best music oh, it's, of his it's, life. Uh, summer, oh, no. summer vibes. Be, no, it has to be it summer has, vibes. It has to be the best music. Vibing music. Even if it's summer vibes, it still has to be better than all the other summer vibes. He, can't he has to do like... Music. Like, it can't be passion... Was it passion fruit? Mm -hmm. It has to be better. Can he do another passion fruit? Another controller? It has to be that. Because, bro, be. your back's against the wall. I feel like he feels the pressure. He's been quiet on social media, surprisingly. Mr. T Mr. Tweet, Mr. Twitterfinger, disser, has become Mr. IG story poster, which is crazy to me. Like, at this point, I I'm pretty sure he's invested into Instagram or Facebook as a company, equity, something, because stocks, because he only posts on there. Like, you're Drake. At this point, nigga, can create your own fucking app. But here's uh, Lil Yachty talking, um, one of no, Marlon's arch nemesis. Is. Kendrick clearly had a lot more animosity, and you felt it. In every song that he dropped. He's not wrong. Kendrick had um, more animosity. Because Drake dropped great records. But I mean, but also, let's be fair, Drake was deemed a loser in his battle before it started. Because people don't like him. Just speak and up haven't. And he's won for a very long time. And he's sat at the top of the throne. And still honestly, respectfully, I think he still sits at the top of the throne. Um Nobody's I arguing think that it. even if opinionated masses would say that Kendrick won, um, I don't think that Kendrick did win. Kendrick, Kendrick, did Kendrick win. won the battle. The idea of is Drake's career forward going over? I think there's a chance. It can still happen. What is going to determine that for me personally? The music. What are we going to get? If this is the worst Drake music, if like it needs to live up to like, if you're going to rush to drop something, it needs to make sense. Yeah. I'm not worried about Kendrick. Imagine, that next Kendrick album is going to be a classic. I already know it. Imagine I don't got to hear it. Yeah, so he's this. always going to wait. Imagine this. And he can wait. They say fuck going track for track. They start going fucking project for project. Album for album. Project for project. Imagine that shit. Mixtape for mixtape. That's cool. Here's the issue, though. And this is my point. A lot of Drake music recently has been background music. Background music isn't disrespectful. You need to be good to be background music. I'm not going to play some bullshit at a party when we're all chilling. That's not like that's what's, not the what's that, like, a good example. Probably is that was that search and rescue. Yeah, that's good background go? music. How's it go? I need someone to listen, listen to me. Some bullshit like that. I yeah, need mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which good. was extremely successful, and As I didn't like that it was successful. Oh, I, li I like that song, but it's background. But I didn't music. like it like that, bro. I'm like this, I bro. That song was like number one in the country, to, some I'm shit like that. I need someone to be patient, patient with me. Patient with me. Someone, Someone to get money to make it with me. Yeah, yeah. I, and I, I like that song, but it's the song with the Kim K shit in it. Yeah, right? yeah. Dale, yeah. mommy. Background music. I like that song. I but feel like, nigga, we could make a better song than that, though. We could, but there's Drake songs. Oh, this is very, eh. That shut the room down. Shot for me. Controller. Passion Fruit. Yeah. There's music that would stop his everyone. Old shit. His Not old just shit. his old shit. There's been recent shit where it's going to stop the entire room and they're going to sing along because they feel the music. I'm, if you don't give me that... If I don't get that shit from him, I'm gonna I'm be he's honest done, with you, bro. With Drake, album wise, hold up, bro. Because imagine an album just background music. That's just not gonna last, bro. For me, bro, when it, it comes to down to, party to Drake, music. the last the last album where I can I can tell you I'm like yo like I love the whole album and shit like that and like everything. The one before Scorpion. More life. More life. That's the one before Scorpion. E ever, yeah. Ever since then. There's been mass skips on his on his stuff, and even there, that's where t a quote unquote the Drake fall off happened because that album was a playlist. Yeah. So he got into that bag of like, I'm gonna stop satisfying people and make these conceptual albums. I'm gonna do playlist albums. Started with more life, more life, then Scorpion, amazing, then CLB, views, then for all the dogs, amazing. What a time to be alive, amazing. If you're reading this, it's too late. Amazing. Classic. I think it's a classic. There album. Are no nothing was the same. Amazing. Take care. Classic album. Amazing. Classic album. Thank me later. Classic Great. Album. So far oh. gone, Classic. great. Play Fire Desire right now. I will stop potting. 
<laughs> I will stop partying. I promise you, I'll you stop see, partying. A- after after more life for me, it was like, eh. Cool. Like, I like them and shit like that, but like. And don't it, get me wrong. It doesn't get me in my feelings. Yeah, like don't get me wrong. Did, CLB bro. and Four Other Dogs, they have songs on there that are like. No, they do. Are crazy. But it's not the whole album. Yeah. Scary Hours too, but the, the, I feel like the way that Scary Hours was rolled out. Yeah. Yeah, it was either. I feel like he dropped it too soon to the project. It should have dropped either right away, sooner, like day the next day as a deluxe, or drop it months later. But he dropped it like after the people were like, "Can you rap?" And he's like, "Oh, I didn't make this to prove those people wrong, nigga. Yes, you did. Dude. Like, why are you lying? And even if you did it, people are gonna interpret it that way. So either don't drop it or wait a couple more months, cause this shit's hard. We're not gonna digest it the same. And you got J Cole on it again." Nigga, don't rush this out. Evil Ways. Phenomenal song. This all, deserves more attention. And it all disappeared. And it all disappeared. And that's Drake. Drake disappearing doesn't make no sense. Right? Doesn't make no sense. But CLB had like a into into deep. Clapping cheeks. Like a lot of songs I like. Like I'll revisit. I'm not gonna lie. Um, obviously for all the dogs. Was that song on there about his family? The record about this, the family. His like the beautiful ass song. I think I know what you're gonna talk about. I, rem- I remember. Did Perla hit you up? The braider, she just hit she, me right now. She, yeah, I, I just okay, got the good, then. text from a random number. No, she texted me right so, now. Yeah. So that's her. You're good. All right. Shout out to Perla. Perla braids. Shout out to Yuli braids. Yuli did my hair today. Yeah. You know I'm saying? Sorry, Yuli. I'm going to have to because you can't do it. Yeah, Yuli be booked up. Sorry. Booked and busy. Um, oh, do we look, count her loss? Look, look, Edwin's like, what's going on with Yachty? I just got on. Relax, buddy. Edwin, we can't find a charger adapter. Um, Buy one. Amazon ten dollars. You mentioned Yachty and this motherfucker gets summoned. Oh no no yeah, this is crazy. crazy. He's a little boater. And then he'll deny it. He's a little boater. Yeah, he's a he little woke boater. Up, bro, and, he's and on he a little it. boat right now, yeah. sleeping. He felt it, bro. It's crazy. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? He, My he, boy on a on a kayak. He got neck on a yacht. You know what I'm saying? Shout hey, the gunner. Yo. Um, certified lover boy. You know what I think Drake might do next? I was thinking about it yesterday. He might drop drop like a Dark Lane demo tapes too. And then that way he gets away with it being a mixtape and not an album. The only song that stuck out for me was Chicago Freestyle. Oh, beyond that's that, my bro, shit, bro. Well, he can do that. Yeah, he'll give it like a summer vibe, like a hit. He'll have a hit on there still. Well, I, I for he that. He needs more than that after this. Oh, the, this never. But gonna then we'll stop. wait for for fall time. He I'll can for, still drop two in a year. Dark Lane demo. He had Chicago Freestyle, obviously, right? Well, Tuesday slide, but that was a single, and then he <laughs> threw it in I hate there. That song so no, 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 no. Yeah, but but you, we know how big it was. And then other than that, um now, COB, I hate fucking war, fans. War, Edwin said that war shit was from Apple. I hate I miss you too. With Kid Cudi, I hate uh War was a moment. I miss you so. too is good. I hate it now. Miss I miss you too? Yeah, like I used to like it back then, nah, but I now like I, I replayed it recently. I'm like, I don't need this song. Kid Kid Cudi can Drake can do a way better collaboration. That shit was like rushed. TSU. And then, what's the last? Okay, because the thing is for all the dogs is mixed with Scary Hours. Uh, 79, 69 Santa. I like that one. Fountains with Thames. Is but good. the one I was talking about I was trying to find. Why can't I find it? The one about like his being young. No, isn't it Polar Opposites? No. Yeah. Edwin said it's away from home. Yes, it's away from home. I can't find it though. Where is it? I haven't heard that album in like months. So God bless. I can't find it on the track list. But it's away from home. Yes, away from home. Yeah, second to last song, track number twenty-two. I love that song by Drake. I think it's a classic Drake song. But uh, continuing with Yachty, you know, people are going to stop listening to Drake, and like Drake's career is going like flush. You know. In like the art of uh, this track, what do you think is more important, like the hard-hitting bars that are like, oh my god, this is really going to affect his life and his like career or whatever, or the song that maybe has those, but it gets the people going? <laughs> There's no rules. And real quick, also, this is a, a more context. Yachty usually does his podcast with his co-host Mitch. Shout out to Mitch. Dope podcast. They're in his room, Yachty's room, Yachty's bedroom with his crazy expensive ass couch that, that looks like some that, some shit from like a different that's world. Not, that's not in his house though. No, so this is on tour. That's he, in a hotel room. He's on tour right now and uh, like in Germany somewhere with Mitch and stuff. So he did the tour in America already. I think top of the year slash last year, but now he's on the international tour, foreign tour. So he's on tour, and there's a woman asking him questions, which seems to be his friend. Sounds like a producer, maybe a white woman, maybe. I said producer. Yeah, so he's interviewing him. So this is like a more interviewer style. His podcast, I never liked this, right? Which was shocking. I'm like, oh, he's really, this is dope. But I like that he put it out because it's like, might as well, bro, platform your opinion. But then to delete it, 
and then he deleted it off of Twitter too. God bless. But here we have the rest of the clip. No rules, and, and, and it's not like no it's rules not in rap. Like he the says NCAA March Madness, you know, where you have, you have it's been the same way. Every rap battle has been scored and handled a little differently, and it's not officiated. You know, this seems like the most officiated For sure. beef uh, as far as like when it comes to like winner um, ish. But I always said, I said to Drake, I told him, I feel like, I feel like, it, like I don't feel like you won or lost. You know, I don't feel like, like I've, like rappers have lost and then lost everything. <laughs> like, like maybe not lost their money, but like, n- yeah, like you know what I'm saying. And like it just was never looked at the same. I don't think that this has happened to Drake. I think Drake will still be in everyone's rap Spotify at the end of the year. Um, at the top, I think it was still like it was still he could still drop hits and and it will still hit control the summer. Um, I think that Kendrick made very smart moves, you know, and, and uh, I don't think Drake would disagree. Then I don't think Drake would disagree, which hints that he knows that Drake feels that way, that Kendrick made very smart moves, that he was sure, outmoved by, Drake, uh, by Kendrick. Drake might be in the room with a gun telling him what to say. <laughs> Out of camera. And this was actually, I think that this podcast is co-owned or co-produced by um, Full Send. The Full Sun team, the Nelk Boys, so like they co-produce. That's why they do like a lot of memes. They do text and they they show the random screenshot. So they showed that screenshot real quick of the Drake post, Summer Vibes vibe. And then there was another clip we could play real quick of Yachty. Hey, just going out doing bad blood on their name or like not selling out arenas or not like at the top of the game. They both at the top of the game. And they both have been since the beginning of the career. So it's like they had to find an angle each that either one felt was most um, um, aggressive, and they just had to both poke at them. And they kind of had they didn't have much on each other, you know. Um, so they found one was pedophilia, and then one was, um, you know, a, an abuser, you know, um, a, 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 a woman abuser. So, and they just both kind of poked at them. Extreme, extreme accusations, accusations, absolutely. Which, which there's no proof to either one. Yeah. Um, but it's beef, right? But how do you feel about all the outsiders? Not like fans, spectators, but other artists. Not trying to get into Like this and Drake? Yeah. I think Drake's dealt with that type of shit since the beginning of time. Yeah. Um, and he's always not truly been liked. It was unfortunate. I really did wish it was only Drake and Kendrick. It just kind of seemed like, it kind of seemed like when Kendrick came out and was like, I hate this nigga. Everyone finally was like, oh, this is my chance. Say, I hate him too. Yeah. You know, and it was kind of just like a bunch of people, which is kind of pussy. <laughs> it was a really good battle, you know? And I think that, I think that, that we'll never, ever, ever get something like that again. Definitely won't. Definitely won't. How do you think that's? Oh, I think it's over. I think it ended. I think it ended with, um, not like us, man. It's shit banging. <laughs> I think there's always a pivotal shit banging. Come on, bro. Shit banging. Moment, like the most, imp- a moment that's most remembered from beefs, you know, and it's different in every situation. And in this one, it'll definitely be, um, not like us, you know, that song is the one that'll live, you know, and I hope that one day in the near future, you know, these two guys can come laugh about it, um, you know, when they're, Old and gray, and extremely dirt rich, uh, both billionaires. They can come and laugh about it and and uh, move forward. And that's what I wish, right? That they can come together, move forward, etc. But will it happen? It doesn't seem like it really will, unless who knows? They are grown adults. Opinions do change. But two key takeaways, real quick, right? One, could it have been that Drake told them, "Hey, the battle's not over. I still got smoke. Delete that interview." He deleted the interview, right? That could be the case because the way he's talking about it is like he as if he knows that it's over. Like it ended with not like us, blah blah. Maybe Drake's like, hey, actually I got more smoke, bro. It's coming for Kendrick. This is not over yet. Delete that. We still got more back and forth coming. This is, that was just round one, like I said before. Right? And then also when he says that people were coming at him. Right? Coming joining out. Drake. I mean joining Drake joining Drake, coming at um Yachty? coming at Drake. Yadi okay. said that. People are tagging in, right? That could be another reason he died deleted because who tagged in? Future, Metro Boomin. Where are they from? Atlanta. Where's Lil Yachty from? Atlanta. They work with Yachty. They're friends with Yachty. So maybe Yachty didn't think about it. And he's like, damn, that looks like I'm dissing Future and Metro. Because who else tagged in that he can call pussy? He could have deleted. Rick Ross? He could have deleted. I think he's kind of cool, Rick Ross. He could have deleted that part and just left the whole shit out, though. He didn't think straight. He probably was like, fuck it. Let's just press delete on everything. And hope that it's a vibe on Twitter didn't capture it. Mm. So, you know? so you're their problem. Yo, Vic is a villain, bro, because no so bullshit. So you're their problem. This interview is fucking terrible. He fucked up. 
I think I, this is the key fuck up part. This part. Now yeah. I think about it more. This he part. He really like feed should have never released this because Vic is right. You hear it, it's clear. It sounds like Yachty is confirming Drake is done. If I'm just going off this interview, Yachty and him are supposed to be best friends. They always hang out. It perception. Like, perception. Yeah. Yeah, no, they actually said it like in their interview when they both were in that co interview. They were no, like, Oh, yeah, but I'm saying like the, 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 the fan perception, he's, uh, he's fucking with it yeah. by, by doing this interview. And exactly, they're, they're basically, he's basically saying, Yo, this nigga's cooked, bro. He already right. acknowledged it. He lost. This is the L. No, so, go ahead, keep going. And this is my second thing with what you said. He looks like he's dissing Atlanta. Yeah. The moment he says niggas grouped Metro, in together, shit was weird. Future. Yeah, bro, it's Metro Future. Who else? Have I weekend. ASAP Rocky. And Rick Ross. But the thing is, who initiated it? Stop. Who initiated it? Like, let's be real. It was Future and Metro. It looks like you're dissing these niggas. And don't get me wrong, it doesn't look pussy, but for him to say that they look pussy, look pussy. We're not rappers. He's a rapper. The weekend them niggas can just diss this nigga, Yachty. Yeah. And it's they're done. Nav is close, it's cool with Yachty. Yeah, Nav too. Atlanta so, could shut this shit down for him. So Yadi, I think that might have been the whole main shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that was that. You, you want to know what I found crazy too, though? He's over here sitting down talking hey, about Sally. talking about um. <laughs> oh, you know, I told I told Drake, you know, you start at the top, like you didn't win or lose this, this, and that, blah, blah, blah. But then he goes to he gets asked, right? He's like, oh, so like, when did it finish? I finished with not like us, not like us, man. That shit banging. So so <laughs> That's so, crazy. so so how can you interpret that? Yeah, yeah. You just, you see what I'm saying? Giving him that praise, like, and you're supposed to be Drake's friend, bro. Drake hit him up. Come on, bro. Drake hit him up. Bro. I agree with you. Drake hit him it up. It was a short interview, like 27 minutes long. Drake probably saw the whole shit, like, uh, cause I think Drake fucks with the Mitch. Like, I think Drake probably watches that podcast. Remember that was a podcast that went viral because he interviewed uh, J Cole. Bad Yachty. Chess movie, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did, it's like the best J Cole interview maybe of all time. Like, mm -hmm. little Yachty gave it to him. You know, no Diddy, and it was a great conversation. I like that conversation. I love the J Cole interview. It's just spoken about to this day. A lot of like breaking news on there. But yeah, man, y Yachty. How do you guys feel about Yachty coming on below? That was crazy. That was crazy. Bad chest move, bro. Bad chest move for Drake because it makes Drake look like he accepted L. Yeah. When he hasn't officially had it, he hasn't officially said it that he's accepted it. That Kendrick did X, Y, and Z. Yachty's basically confirming that shit. That looks bad for Drake. Then the Metro shit, bro. That's bad politics. Why are you speaking on Atlanta, nigga? <laughs> Look at what fucking 21 did. He said, those are both my brothers. I hope they figure it out, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that shit on live. That's how you keep a G. Yeah. Nigga, Yachty run with interview talking about niggas being pussy. Shut up. Stop glazing, nigga. Damn, hey, what are you doing? And, 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 I, hate, and I hate You can burn bridges so easily. I, I hate the fact that he's gaining, he's gaining relevance because oh, of this shit, this too. Nigga. He hates this nigga. No, bro, because it's like, what the fuck is he adding to it, bro? <laughs> yo. Yo, look at this tweet. I didn't see this tweet. Someone tweeted. Someone put this tweet, um, as like a thing for me. Like, uh, not for me, but like over a quote retweet over my tweet about the Yachty interview. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Look at this. This is fucking hilarious. This is hilarious. I did not see this. This was viral. A viral tweet, bro. Cause that tweet I put, bro, of Yachty's interview has look at 15 million views. That's crazy. Look at the quote retweet. Oh, what's going on there? <laughs> they, I saw that. That's Yachty on Drake. <laughs> they said that's Yachty on Drake. Uh, <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> I've never seen a pup like this. Bro, I seen that shit. I was dying. What bro. the hell? I thought you saw that shit, Vic. That shit had me screaming, bro. What the hell? You know what mm. it is? I for damn, he fucked up. You know what it is that you have to have so much motion to prefer to do that than your foot, bro? My God. Nigga's ass is stronger than his foot. Bro, come on. Where's the back and forth? Oh, this is the back and forth with a fan, right? So this is a fan page, Drizzy's. I might be a female. Or yeah, maybe it's a female. She's confirmed it. Okay, so it's a female. Because sometimes they put a female avatar, but it's really a man. She said, in response, she said, man, get the fuck off that with that BS. Uh, I simply reposted it. Wait, no. Where did it start? Okay. It started with her posting it. Yeah, he added her randomly. He added her randomly because he saw her post about it. No, no. There's a tweet before that. I could find it. Uh, yeah. Damn. Oh, maybe right, right here. I think I got it in a while. Yeah, so she posted because, mind you, they deleted the interview. But uh, two reasons I felt comfortable posting the interview clips was, one, it was on Twitter. So now, technically, like when something's fully on Twitter, the full podcast is on Twitter. You can clip it up and post it on Twitter because it's on Twitter. It's already on Twitter. Second, they were promoting the interview. They had a clip, a social media clip that they posted, right? But remember... The Little Yachty podcast is produced by 
Nelk Boys Full Sen. I don't think Yadi posted this promotional clip. This promotional clip was talking about the beef. It was a shorter clip. It was like 40 seconds. It's not as long as my clips. She reposted that clip and said, you are absolutely shameless, Yadi. This is a, a big Drake uh, fan page, right? Stand page at this point. Loyalty is priceless and that's all I need. Quoting Drake, right? She said, Little Yachty also thinks that the song where someone calls a so his so-called brother a, a certified pedophile multiple times is banging. But why she mad? It's also true. It's true. Like this is the song's banging, but that's not what the F Drake fan pages expect. Right. Right? Because they're like, how am I a Drake fan page and I'm riding harder for Drake than you and you're actually Drake's friend? Ah! Maybe because he's just objective and he's honest. You guys don't want him to be a yes man, you know? But there was contradictory statements in the interview because there was some yes man moments and then some objective moments, right? So he did that and then randomly Yachty saw this and decided to at this uh, page and tweet them. He now deleted the tweets. It's deleted now. He said, at Drizzy's, you making shit what is not. Everybody and they mama know what side I'm on. You fans want to be overdoing shit. I didn't go into any specifics of songs. Stop trying to spin my narrative. And technically, he didn't. But I think the answering of the questions, the, 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 the fucking hypotheticals, I feel like he shouldn't have had nobody ask him no questions. No, pr like, bro, just talk. Speak your mind. You got this person chiming in, whoever it is trying to produce you, ask you questions. It's fucking up your flow. You're re-answering shit. And then one moment you're saying Drake is lost, one moment you're saying Drake's winning, it's confusing, right? And then this fan page goes off and says, man, fuck off uh, my face with that BS. Um, I simply reposted your own words. You said you don't think Drake won or lost. You have respect for the guy who called him a certified pedophile and said the, the song is banging. What kind of friend are you? You stay silent watching your friend's character get attacked. You actually made it worse. <laughs> Bless you Thank with you. that interview. Pick a side or shut up. Nigga, go touch grass. They, they're going too off. This is insane. But he says, suck a dick nerd. It wasn't my beef to speak in. Dot, dot, dot. Maybe he deleted the interview because of that. Because Drake told him, oh, it wasn't your beef to speak in. Or maybe he realized himself. Yeah, he's a smart guy. You know, I feel like he could figure that out um, himself. Fuck you want me to do? Jump on a feature? <laughs> because with the way he was talking, it's like, nigga, you saying these niggas is pussy for jumping in. You might have to jump on a feature. Because at this point, if you're talking about The weekend in Atlanta... Then he goes, I said, I felt like nobody won. The whole thing was stupid to begin with. When I support him, I'm dick riding. When I don't say shit, I switched up. The internet is so, uh, this shit is so lame, I can't win. He's right there, though. Because if he would have not said nothing ever, people would be like, what the fuck, Yachty? Especially because his names are being brought up by Kendrick and fucking um, Rick Ross. But there we have it. That's the end all with that right there. Um, freaking Yachty. You might have fucked up, Yachty. You might have really fucked up. Maybe forever. Who knows? We'll see how the relationship with Drake and Yachty, you know, forms from this. Will we ever get a Kendrick Lamar and Yachty song? Certified we got a Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Uh, we got a Drake and Lil Yachty song. We got a J. Cole and Lil Yachty song. Will we ever get a Kendrick Lamar and Lil Yachty song? Maybe never. We don't need it. Maybe never. We don't I don't know. It. I might want one. Mm. I might want you, one. You didn't like the Drake and Yachty one? Well, there's two, no? Is there two? If you count Jumbotron shit is popping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. When he's in the background. Man, that shit don't fucking count. I'm talking about him dropping words, dropping bars. Yeah, I didn't love that one. Yeah. Exactly. J. Cole smashed his shit too. No, the, did the he? J, the J. Cole one wasn't bad. That yeah. one that one I actually like, but J. Cole did body his shit. That shit was no, a No, did he? They gonna love me for my ambition.